Hi everyone, this is Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. I'm going to demonstrate how to make this large tote bag. It has three pockets on the outside. If you want an additional three pockets, I'll show you how to do that. I'll even show you how to put pockets on the inside if you want. So let's get started. The amount of fabric you'll need for each section depends if you want to make the bag out of all one fabric or if you want to use four different fabrics as I did using one for each section. Outside fabric 2 and 2 thirds yard cut 2 17 inch by 21 inch. Outside pocket cut 2 10 inch by 21 inch and you will need 1 third yard. Lining 7 8 yard 2 17 inch by 21 inch 2 12 inch by 9 inch. Handles or your straps. You'll need one half yard. Cut four strips four and a half inches wide by 56 inches long. Interfacing. One and seven eighths yard. Cut two ten inch by 21 inch and two seventeen inch by 21 inch. And again this is the 21 inch wide Pellon Craft Fuse number 808 and it is the iron-on heavy interfacing. When cutting out your straps, leave your fabric folded as it is when you purchase it off the bolt. So here's the selvage edges right here, and these are the raw edges on this side and this side. So cut four, four and a half inch wide strips, stitch two together, then cut them to 56 inches long. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to fold and press your fabric for your straps. This is just a sample piece of fabric, but it's four and a half inches wide. Fold in half and press. Unfold, bring the side towards that center fold line and press. Bring the other side towards the center fold line and press. Fold in half and press again. Then after you're done doing all of your pressing, stitch right along that edge right here. Put the fusible interfacing on both pieces that are 17 by 21. These are the pieces for the outside of the bag. I have several suggestions on how to put your fusible interfacing on. The problem with putting the fusible interfacing on your fabric when it's large pieces is it has a tendency to separate. So you can follow package instructions and do it exactly as they say, or you can do it how I like to do it. When I have large pieces like this, I don't do the fusing. I skip that part because it never seems to work out very well. So I just bring the glue side of it down onto the back side of my fabric. Here's my front side. Put it on the back side and do a machine basting stitch around all of the edges and it works out much better. You're not struggling and fighting with it as you're trying to sew your bag together. Also, take one of your pieces for the outside pocket and put the fusible interfacing on that and again I do that machine basting stitch on it. To make the outside pocket, put the interfacing side down of your fabric where you've just fused the interfacing on. Put that down so you're looking at the front side. Take your other piece for the pocket bring it front side down on top. Line up your edges, pin it all the way across, and then after you've finished pinning all the way across, put more pins than I'm doing, I'm just demonstrating real quick, and then stitch a quarter of an inch seam all along here. Unfold the fabric and press this seam on top. As you're pressing, you're pressing your seam towards this piece of fabric that does not have 
the interfacing on it. Then stitch on this side of the seam. So this is the fabric that does not have the interfacing. So you're going to stitch just outside of that seam all along there. Then fold it right at the seam. And you will notice that because you did that little bit of top stitching on that one side of the seam, that it's going to be real easy to fold this over and it'll be nice and even. And then press that seam with your iron. Place the pocket down at the bottom edge and the side that you want down against the fabric here is the piece that does not have the interfacing on it. So the interfacing is on the top layer. Go ahead and pin around these three sides right here. Then do a machine basting stitch about an eighth of an inch all the way around from the edge. If you want six pockets on this bag, you could make one more of these and put it on the other side of the bag. To mark where the straps need to go, take a ruler and go out seven and a half inches from this edge over here, over, and put a pin. Then go to this side, seven and a half inches over, and put a pin. Also do it at the bottom of the bag, seven and a half inches here and then here. Take the bottom edge of your strap and just center it right over the pin and then pin it down. Pull the straps all the way up to this top edge up here and again center it over the pins that you placed up here and put pins to hold it all in place. Then from this top edge, go down and mark right here, put a pin at the two and a half inch mark and over here at the two and a half inch mark. Then stitch from the bottom edge, come up on this side of it, go all the way up to where this pin is, two and a half inches from the edge, stitch across, then stitch all the way down this way. Go over to this one, do the same thing, stitch up, come to this pin, and so you don't lose your place, just make sure you leave your needle down through the fabric and lift the presser foot. Turn your uh, fabric and then stitch down this side. Here's the top edge of the bag, and right here is the top where you stitched from the bottom and across and then back down towards the bottom again. Up here at the top, stitch a pattern that looks like this. So you've already got this across and down. Go down about an inch and stitch here, stitch a, from corner to corner this way and that way. And do that at the other side also. This reinforces your straps. This is the other side of the bag. Position the straps just like you did on the side that had the pocket. But if you want a pocket also on this side, put the pocket down first, then place the straps on top, again using those same measurements. Bring the two sides front side together and pin three of your edges. So pin along this edge across this way and up. Then after pinning, stitch one half inch seam all along those three edges and make sure you back stitch up at the two top edges. This is one of the bottom corners. This seam right here is the very bottom of the bag this is the side. You want to squish the corner down so that it looks like this. Also look inside of the bag and take a visual look to see if these two seams are positioned right on top of each other. And if they are, that's good. Take a ruler 
and line it up to where the edge of the ruler here and this edge here are four inches. Then draw a line. Now it's really thick right now. It's going to be very hard to pin it. If you have these little quilters wonder clips, then I would put a clip on each side just so that it kind of holds it in place for you so that it doesn't shift while stitching. And you can even put it over on this side. Then stitch right on that drawn line all the way across. And do that on the opposite bottom corner also. Cut this corner off, leaving about a half inch seam area there. And so just I'm just guessing, but this looks about right. And so do that also on the opposite corner. Take your fabric for the inside pockets and bring front sides of the fabric together and place pins around all four edges. Leave an opening in here, oh, three inches wide. Stitch one quarter inch seam, so back stitch here, go down to the corner, turn and come up, go around all four sides, and then stop here and again back stitch. Trim all of the corners off, trim it down to about an eighth of an inch wide. Do that on all four corners. Go through the opening and begin turning it front side out. Reach inside of the opening and poke your corners out. Press the pocket flat. Fold your edges in at the opening inside and then pin across. After you have finished pinning, then stitch the opening closed. Place the pocket on the front side of one of your lining pieces. I suggest you just center the pocket anywhere you want it. Now this pocket is just a suggested size. You can make your pocket any size you want. You can make it longer. You can make the width of the different sections any size you want. I just stitched down through the center. So back step back stitch up here at the top, go down and across, then back stitch here and then up here. Bring the other lining piece front side down on top of the one that has the pocket on it. Line up your edges. Pin three of the edges together. So this one here and here. So after pinning all edges, then stitch a half inch seam down here, across, and up. At the bottom edge of the lining, leave an opening that's quite large. I would say about seven inches long. Make sure you back stitch on each side of the opening. This is used later to turn the bag front side out. Repeat the process of making the box shaped corners like you did on the outside of the bag. So you're going to do this corner at the two lower bottom corners of the bag. And then don't forget to trim the excess fabric off here. Then reach inside and turn the bag front side out. Right now the fabric for the outside of the bag, the front side is facing in. So you're looking at the back side. Here's the lining. You're looking at the front side, the pretty side of the lining. Take the bottom portion of the lining and insert it inside of the bag. Lift the lining up and insert the straps between the lining and the fabric for the outside. Then begin pinning the lining up at the top edge all the way around. Make sure you match your seams and pin the seams open on the outside fabric as well as on the lining fabric. After you finish pinning, then stitch one half inch from the top edge. Do that seam all the way around the top. Pull the lining out of the bag. 
and then at the bottom of the lining is that opening. Reach inside the opening and begin pulling the bag slowly out through that opening. Be careful not to tear the stitches around your opening. Take your time. To close the opening at the bottom of the lining, fold the edges inside and pin across. After pinning, then stitch the opening closed. Push the lining on the inside and place pins up at the edges so that the lining stays in place while you stitch. So up at the edge, going 1 8 of an inch from the top edge, stitch all the way around the top. Make sure you pull your straps out of the way so you don't stitch over your straps. For more tote bag projects, play this video until a green screen appears and then click on the links. I hope you like this video. If you did, would you please click on thumbs up and don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner. Don't forget to click on that little bell and enter your email address so you can receive email notifications about my latest video. If you haven't received notifications, then go to your cell phone, click on settings and turn notifications in the on position. I'm Cheryl, this is Steve, this is Sue, and this is Manny. So glad you came to my sewing room. See you next time, and happy sewing!